Hey everybody, it's Tim the Education Guy here at NETA with this week's Friday Fun Fact. You know, last week we had a great time at the conference. Hopefully you had a great time and you were able to uh, join us out at Salt Lake. Tell us what you thought about the conference. We need to improve and we want to improve and that's only going to happen with your insights. But today I want to share a tip about what do you do after the conference. So this is just some of my stuff that I'm still sorting through from the conference that uh, we were at last week and I'm sure you have a lot more. Well, I always you go to these conferences, whether it be the, the NIDA conference or PMDMC or annual meeting, TechCon, the Public Media Summit, all of them, and you come back energized, excited, and all these great ideas. You have all these ways that you're going to go back and make what you learned relevant and create that relevancy right in your station. And you get back, and then your boss needs something, or you've got this project you have to complete, and, and it just kind of falls by the wayside. I want to share a few tips today with you that I've learned over the years that uh, sometimes work for me and hopefully they'll work for you. Well, it starts with when I was younger and my dad used to always tell me, take care of you. Every deployment I'd go to, every time I'd go off to do something, he'd kind of grab me, put his hands on my neck and say, take care of you, son. And I never knew totally what that meant until I grew up a little bit and realized that I couldn't take care of others until I took care of myself. So, you know, you're on the airplane and they talk about put your oxygen mask on first. You have to put your oxygen mask on first before you can help someone else. Same concept. Same thing in all the leadership studies uh, seminars I've done and, and through my degree in leadership studies uh, at Grand Valley State, you learned to kind of take that step back, stand on the balcony, review everything, and look at everything from a different perspective. The other tip that you always hear is in when you're in leadership, take time for yourself. Take care of you. You continue to be a leader by investing in yourself and taking your time to make it happen. Conference is a case in point. You just got back, you're all excited, you get dive right back in, but you haven't taken that time for you. Your organization invested a lot of time, effort, and money to make sure you were able to attend the NIDA conference. Do them the service of making sure you invest in yourself and find those little things that you can put into action. It's everything from the, these business cards that I have, have here, following up with those individuals. If you had a mentor, following up with a mentor. If you were a mentor, following up with your mentee. The other pieces, you say, well, how do I get re-energized from what I had? How do I share it with everybody in my shop? Well, all of the Facebook Live pieces that we did, which were the general sessions, are on the Nita Facebook page still. And soon, all of the breakout sessions will be there for audio on the Nita website as well. Another great way to do it, Go to the Twitter. Go to the Twitter. <laughs> Go to Twitter and look up the hashtag Pub Media Educates and just review and see all those great inspirational things that people put out there. Go to our Facebook page. Go to your friend's Facebook page. Scroll through. Look at the pictures. Look at all the comments that were made and you'll see it. Go on the app and connect to those people that you saw there, met there. Maybe you don't have their contact information. They're all listed on the app. Most importantly, Take time for you. Schedule time for you to go through this and to become the leader you want to be. Friday afternoon, you're sitting there, you're kind of out of it. Take time, schedule a half hour, an hour, a couple hours, and invest in yourself. And when your general manager, your supervisor comes down, or maybe your, your chair of the board of directors, when Molly from Des Moines walks by and says, Tim, what are you doing in your office? You just look at her and say, I'm investing in me to invest in our organization. Have a great Friday. Take care.